Minecraft 1.21 has already had multiple snapshots released, and with these snapshots, we are already seeing a lot of cool features. So today I'm going to be showing you 12 new features that we are going to be seeing in Minecraft 1.21. There is a new structure being added in Minecraft 1.21, and it's called the Trial Chambers. The Trial Chambers is able to spawn in any biome, and it usually is generated underground past the deep slate layer. As you can see, some of these structures can be pretty massive, and I also think they look pretty cool with the use of the copper block. It's definitely a very unique structure. The trial chambers are generated completely random, meaning it will be different each time, and they are actually filled with some pretty good loot. But obviously you have to be careful looting these structures, as there are many traps along the way, and also there are these brand new trial spawners. The trial spawners will spawn mobs in waves until you kill them all to claim some additional loot, but the loot you get from completing the trials isn't that great right now, hopefully it gets changed in the future. A cool fact about these spawners is that the blocks underneath them actually indicate what mob will spawn during the trials. And each chamber will have three different types of spawners. One melee, one small melee, and one range spawner. Right now, these three spawners will be consistent throughout the structure, meaning if you get strays for the range spawner, that's it. Every ranged will just be strays in that structure. If you complete the trials, you can get a trial key, which as of right now, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. Maybe it will be used to unlock different rooms once the update is released. And there is a fourth type of spawner available in this structure though, and it actually spawns spawns a new type of mob, the Breeze. The Breeze is kind of like a blaze, except it's a wind-based mob instead of fire. And now that we have wind and fire, this means we're just missing the wave and the dirt. Even though the Breeze looks similar to the blaze, it actually functions a lot differently, and it has some pretty cool abilities. To start, every time it attacks you, you get launched back like this, as if the Breeze is blowing you away with its attack. The Breeze is also able to leap towards you in between attacks, making it very difficult to run away from this guy. The Breeze's wind attack can also open trap doors and doors, which I think is a super cool feature for a Minecraft mob. The wind can also put out candles, and it can set off redstone, meaning you have to be careful when these guys are around. Another interesting thing about the breeze is that you can send its attack back at it, similar to when you're fighting a ghast. This also seems to make the breeze angry, as he seems to go into tornado mode if you do this too much. If you kill a breeze right now, it drops nothing, but I'm assuming this is gonna change when the update is released, as this is a fairly new mob. Going back to the trial chambers, there are actually a lot of new blocks being added which are used in the making of this structure. Starting off, we have the most obvious one, which is these tough bricks that are basically all over this structure. Tough bricks are crafted by using four tough to make polished tough, which then can be used to create tough bricks with the same recipe. There are also these chiseled tough bricks found in the structure, which seem to give it a little more detail, and there is just regular chiseled tough that is mixed in with the other new blocks as well. Each one of these tough variants, including regular tough, also comes with new stairs, slabs, and walls. And overall, I think it's really cool that they actually made the tough block have a use, as it was just some random block that you find at deep slate level before. But tough isn't the only block that got a bunch of new variants, as there will be a lot of new copper based blocks in 1.21 as well. Starting with this block that is seen all over the new trial chambers structure, which is called the copper grate. The copper grate is unlike any other minecraft block we've seen before, as it's sort of like a full block fence. Another unique copper block that is being added is the copper bulb, which sort of works like a redstone lamp, but it's a little more advanced, as it emits different light levels based on how oxidized the copper is. The copper bulb requires redstone to activate it if it isn't naturally spawning, and if it starts becoming oxidized, you can right click it with an axe to unoxidize it, which I'm pretty sure isn't a new feature, but I never knew it existed so I'm putting it in here. There is also a new block called chiseled copper which features this X pattern on it that looks super cool, and there are copper doors and trap doors being added as well, which are the second type of metal doors to be in the game. The difference between iron doors and copper doors though is that you don't need redstone to open them. You can just right click them like any other wooden door instead. There also seems to be a handle looking thing that kind of looks like a key slot, and I think it would be cool if they made it so you can lock these doors with the new trial keys. But obviously that's not a real feature, that's just my theory of what it could be used for because we've never seen a door handle that looks like this. If you play Minecraft, you probably know what a crafting table is, and if you don't, then I don't really know what you've been doing. But now you won't even have to use crafting tables anymore because there is a new auto crafter coming in Minecraft 1.21. You need these items to craft the auto crafter, and once you've crafted this thing, you can right click it and place items inside it similar to a regular crafting table. The only difference is that you also have to use redstone in order to complete the craft, you can't just take it out like a crafting table. The crafter only crafts one item at a time, meaning you have to spam it to get your items out, but this shouldn't be a problem if you're using it in some kind of redstone machine and not just pressing a button like this. Unfortunately, this is the only redstone I know how to do, so I won't be using the crafter. 
Another thing you can do is toggle the slots on and off, making it possible to automate recipes that don't take up the entire crafting area. And obviously you can use hoppers and droppers to fill this thing, because if you couldn't, it would kind of be useless. Another thing you can use hoppers and droppers to fill is the decorated pots that were actually added in 1.20, but now have a few new features being added to them. To start, you can right-click decorated pots to fill them with a single stack of items, which wasn't possible in the previous update. The only problem with storing your items in a pot is that you can't can't get them out without breaking the pot, so they really have more map making use as they can be used to hide items. You can also now shoot decorated pots to break them, and this not only works with arrows, but this also works with any projectile, including projectiles that are shot by mobs. Unfortunately, the breeze can't break them though. You can stack decorated pots up to 64, which wasn't a thing before. You used to just have to have a full inventory of them, and overall I think these changes are pretty cool. It's definitely a lot better than how the decorated pots were before. The armadillo won this year's Minecraft mob vote, and I'm honestly kind of surprised. I thought the penguin would win for sure. But this means that the armadillo will be coming to Minecraft 1.21, and here are the features we know about it so far. The armadillo will spawn in savanna biomes, which will make it the first mob specific to this biome. But I have a feeling it might spawn in deserts as well, based on what they wrote on the mob vote page. The armadillo can roll up into a ball when it gets surprised, and it might be possible that it does this when it gets hit as well for extra defense. If you kill an armadillo, it will drop its scoot, which can be used to craft dogs armor, and it says this is perfect if you tend to get surprised by skeletons after nightfall, which I find kinda weird because skeletons are actually afraid of dogs. Another mob-related change that is coming to Minecraft 1.21 involves bats. The mob that has been in the game for years has actually gotten a new texture added to it, similar to the vex changes that we saw in the last update. The bat also has a new flying animation, which looks a lot cooler than the old bat, and it can also hang underneath blocks, although I'm not sure if this is a new feature, it might have been in the game before. Overall, I think these these bats look pretty cool, and I hope they continue updating old mobs in the future because some of them could really use an upgrade. You've probably heard this noise when an enderman teleports away from you, but in the new update, this noise is going to have another use, because now when you throw an ender pearl and it lands, you will hear this noise as well. This means the days of silently ender pearling on people are unfortunately over. The slash tick command is a new command that can be used to manipulate the speed of the game, and if you type slash tick rate and then a speed, you can actually speed up or slow down Minecraft without the use of an extreme external program like you had to before, and you are also able to just completely freeze the game if you do slash tick freeze, which can be kinda cool, I mean look at this red cow. Another thing you can do is slash tick sprint and then a time, which will make the game go super fast until the chosen time is up, and this is definitely one of my favorite things you can do with this command, as it can help a lot with making time lapses. So far in 1.21, we've seen some pretty cool features, and I'm excited to see what more is added in the future snapshots.